Hello, in this video, we are going to take a look again at the Microbit board. You might have seen one of my previous videos regarding this board. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can check the description for the link for the video or you can click on the top right corner for the videos. In that video, I have clarified on how to use this Microbit board, what it contains and also have talked about a robot which is called McQueen which is provided by the company DF Robot. Today we are going to take a look on its coding part. In that video I have shown you how to code this Microbit board using the online website provided by the Microbit BBC. In this video we are going to take a look on how we can program this board using our standard Arduino IDE. So without wasting time, let's get started. First of all, you will need your computer. Then go to tools, board, then click on board manager. Now make sure your computer is connected by the internet to download the boards from the board manager. Go to the search bar and search for micro Now you can see in this Nordic semiconductor NRFS boards here we have BBC Microbit just click on install I have already installed this library as you can see from here it is already installed just click on install now go to ok then close now go to files examples and you can see here add a fruit microbit library once you install the boards you will see this then go to any of the demo like I am selecting the blink demo click on it then take your microbit board then take your microbit board connect it via the USB cable then connect the USB cable to the computer and now go to tools select the board as BBC microbit from here then again go to tools select soft device S110 then go to port select the port required now everything is done click on upload when the program will start uploading this LED will blink here as you can see that means the program is going to upload so this was it the LED is blinking the coding for the micro bit is almost same but some of the functions are different you can check out them easily by reading the examples let us upload one other example also in this example whenever we will press any button the serial monitor will show button A is pressed and button B is pressed so let's turn on the serial monitor and let's see hope you can see this when I am pressing the A button button A is pressed when I see when I press the button B button B is pressed and so that was a very small video for today hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching and have a nice day